A very warm welcome to you if you've just joined us here on RT International. We're going to go straight into our breaking news story this hour. Islamic State forces have been driven out of the Syrian city of Kobani. That's seen weeks of fierce fighting. That's according to Kurdish sources. Speaking to RT, Murad Gazdiev joins us live now from just outside the city itself. Murad, uh, what exactly are the Kurds saying and uh, can you confirm these claims? Well, our source in the city, one of the leaders of the Kurdish rebels, says that the Islamists have uh, retreated from, uh, from Kobani behind me. He says that they withdrew over the night on, in the east, withdrawing two kilometers, uh, in the west, nine kilometers. Uh, the Kurds are now clearing the city, he says. The Islamists left behind suicide bombers hiding in the, in the ruins and in the various buildings of the city uh, to ambush the Kurds. Uh, we can still hear sporadic gunfire and explosions coming from Kobani behind us. Uh, but the Kurds say that they, were, they will make an announcement, a victory announcement, later when they've secured the entire city. Uh, it's also got to be noted that uh, just a few days ago, uh, the, the, the defense of the city, the Kurdish defense of the city, had been written off as a lost cause, even, uh, even by the Kurds' closest allies. So there's been a, a stunning reversal here. Murad, it's been a, it's a, Kobani is a very volatile uh, region right now there. Why is the battle for, the, that for Kobani so significant? Well, look at it this way. The Islamists control uh, almost the entire border between Syria and Turkey, stretching all the way from uh, the Iraq, uh, Iraq border all the way almost to the Mediterranean. So it was strategically vital for the Islamists to take Kobani behind me. Uh, it's, also, uh, it's also important to note that the Kurdish resistance has infuriated the Islamists. They've been desperate to, uh, to crush the Kurds, and uh, they failed to do that here in Kobani. Uh, the, the version of Islam practiced by the Kurds is also ideologically perhaps uh, anathema to the, to the hardline and zealous version of Islam practiced by the Islamic State. Uh, this battle, the, the defeat of the Islamic State, uh, will also doubtless hit at the prestige of the jihadists. Uh, over the last few months, they've built themselves up an, uh, an almost aura of invincibility. And uh, that's, that's, that's going to be dispersed here. Perhaps it'll incite more people uh, in Iraq and in Syria to resist the Islamic State. Murad Gazdiev, just outside Kobani, that volatile uh, region there that uh, they claim that uh, uh, the ISIS has been moved back by the Kurds there. Thank you very much for that.